Okay, let's take a look at now using the Aurora for Architects file that we have here set up in Visual Studio 2008 and then also hooking up a code behind file. So there's a few things that you need to do and this is how you do it. So the first thing is we've created this file we've saved it out to in this case the desktop on the computer and I'm ready to import it into Visual Studio. On Visual Studio I've already done that to save us some time so I've actually imported that in and made some adjustments. Now before we go into Visual Studio let me show you back in Aurora for Architects by going to the view source button on the toolbar. Well, let's take a look at the source here. Something that we will need when we go over to Visual Studio is an X colon class. Uh, we're going to need, need to name that in our code. That's not in there by default coming out of uh, Aurora for Architects. So we'll go ahead and do that, add in our references for the file, that code behind file, and make sure that we're ready to go. And then I'll show you how we can change this value just for an example from 0 to 65. So let's go ahead and bring up Visual Studio. Uh, first thing would be over in the references section. Uh, in the directory for Aurora for Architects, you can reference the vantage point. You'll need to, the vantage point assembly or DLL, as it were. The X class that we talked about, we're going to go ahead and reference that in our test.xaml file. So I created this uh, manually by typing that in. And that'll help us hook into this test.xaml CS file. And I'll take a look at that. Here's all the code I have, just a few lines. So we have actually adjusted the uh, the file to fit our needs here. Got our initialized component. When the page is loaded, then we have it run off and set the value for the race engage one, which is again this race engage that we see here. And I've also put a using statement up here as well and that is everything that we'll need so let's go ahead and do a test run here in Visual Studio to try that out. Now if this works it'll go from 0 and it'll put the value to 65 again if we look back at the test .xaml.cs file. So very simple, very easy. Just a proof of concept and to show that this does work. Let's go ahead and do our start debugging here and we can see we are in trial mode so that's what should happen and we see we went from 0 to 65 so that's working with Aurora for Architects and Visual Studio 2008